Howdy folks, so random uh, video here. Uh, this is a uh, an optical disc that I have in my main workstation. It's some Toshiba Samsung thing. And anyway, I hate this drive with a serious passion because this firmware that's on this drive is a complete turd. Um, it just locks up, um, the, like it'll, it'll lock up the SATA link and basically it decides when it wants to work and when, you know, it doesn't work you have to power cycle it to get it to unstick itself. It's it's pretty terrible. So anyway, I was digging through some bin, like uh, some some boxes, and I found this uh, this LG a Hitachi LG drive, which is also SATA. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just you know slap this thing in, uh, get rid of that piece of crap. And uh, so I tried it, and it was a bit slow, a uh, very slow, uh, like orders of magnitude. Like it would read up to like one X, and that was like the fastest it would go. It was doing some weird stuff. So I thought maybe it was you know the heads were dirty or something. So I and I took it apart and. Uh, it looks all good inside here, so I thought I'd take the bottom off and at least take a look at what chips are under here, because you can clearly see, you know, there are these, these uh, stamped areas, and so the way that they do this is they, they stamp them down a little bit so they're closer to the board, and then there's a sill pad which basically heat sinks these chips onto the bottom, and that's what they use as a heat sink. So I take the screw out, and then I lift this off, and it's a little sticky because of the sill pads, and this is what I find inside. And so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making this up, uh, I swear on my life, this is how it was when I opened it. There was this, which is a, an Asus case badge sticker on top of this main Panasonic uh, controller I see. And so you can see that, you know, this is obviously a motor driver, and it has uh, its corresponding sill pad. And then over here we have um, two uh, voltage regulators with their sill pad. But there's no sill pad on this main IC, but there's this metalized sticker, which of course is not even from this manufacturer. And from where this is, I, I can't conceive of a way you could get this sticker here, wedged in between there and the chip. You know, like getting it through this mechanism, I don't think that this it's possible to get this in by shoving it in the front. So I think... Literally, I think someone took this apart, lost the sill pad, and decided that this was a valid substitute for a sill pad. And that's probably why this drive is fucked, because this chip is overheated and it's probably dying. So, yeah, you know, this is, uh, I just take stuff apart, you know, usually just to, I, this is why I take stuff apart, right? You, you never know what dumb shit you're going to find. But, uh, yeah, this was not mine originally, this was used, and, uh, Clearly the person who opened this before me did not know what they were doing. So Anyway, I thought that was kind of amusing. So anyway, I, I don't even know if it's worth uh, me trying anything. I might see if I can find a sill pad that I can shove on that chip and see if see if that'll make a difference. But I think this drive's probably hoopa I, uh I've got all... This is the thing I've noticed is all these, like, you know... I don't use optical drives that much, but when I do, usually it's almost always to rip CDs, right? Um, they're just kind of crap now. Uh, they're, they're just they're just nowhere near the quality they used to be. Uh, I have a whole bunch of old IDE, you know, PADA drives, and they're like rock solid, built like a tank, both mechanically and electrically, and they've never given me any problems. And so I've actually ordered a um, really cheap, like two dollar IDE to SATA bus board. Um, that actually goes both ways, which is kind of cool. So I've ordered that, and uh, I want to just basically see how well that works on one of my older drives. And if it if it works well, then I'm just going to grab one of my really nice old drives and just use it instead of these new SATA drives, because, you know, screw them. Uh, like, I've got this NEC drive from the early 90s. That thing weighs, like, three times what this does. And, I mean, the mechanics in that are just amazing. So, yeah, I don't know. Optical drives suck, and clearly people suck. So, anyway... That's all I wanted to, that's all I wanted to share. I just thought that was funny. So, as always, thanks for watching.